All right, so we're about to go on a little mini trip where I go and visit my family on the weekend. And I'm actually going to go, we have about 57% charge. And so we're going to see if we can get there and back with this charge. But I like to stop at a coffee shop on the way, which is Starbucks. So, um, and that one actually is right there. You can see it was in my favorites. And then we're going to add a, go ahead and complete the whole trip here. So add my second destination. All right. And then we'll just add back home. All right. And let's see if it tells me if I have any. Uh, oh, it's wanting me to charge. Okay. So I'm going to remove all charging stations. It says I should get home with 7%. So that, that's a good that's a good percentage. So we may just forego the, the charging stations. Well, let's see how it goes. All right. So I got my hot chocolate there. And I have decided to add a stop before I get home. So what that has done is it's added some negativity to my time or my percentage when I return home. So I'm going to add charging stations to this, but I think what's going to happen is it's going to put a charging station where I don't think it's most efficient to go. I'll arrive in Siler City with a 30% charge, and it wants me to charge for 10 minutes. But I'm going to go right back by there on the way home, so or on the way back. So I think that I would be better off charging after I leave my family lunch today. So I'm going to remove the chargers for right now so that my battery doesn't um, precondition on the way and because that will burn up even more energy. And then when I go back from my family's house, I will have a less charge, which means I will charge faster. So that's important um, to do as well. So arrive at the charger with the least amount of charges you can so that you charge fast more quickly. See you in a little bit. Well, due to some driving circumstances, um, it appears now I will get home with 4% battery life, so I may not have to stop at chargers at all. So just a notice here that if you are traveling, you should always consider that your driving habits may increase your percentage and you may not actually have to stop at a supercharger, but the rule of thumb is always trust the car. Okay, I've arrived at my first stop, and it still shows now that I'll get home at 3% battery. And that's getting a little low for me, but I don't really want to add charging stops right now because I think it's going to put me at one I don't really want to go to because I won't be as low a charge as could be so because there's one um, closer to where I'm going so if I go zoom out here you can see my my route and this is the one it wants me to stop at but I'll still have about between 20 and 25 or 30 percent battery at that point it's probably about 25 percent battery and if you look and I open my chargers up here this is the route I'll be taking later today. And you can see I'll be going right by this guy here. And I think it's a 250. No, it's a 150. So it's a little slower than the other one, which is probably why they're wanting me to go to this charger because it's a 250 kilowatt. So that's probably the one they're wanting me. That's probably why they're wanting me to start the cars wanting me to stop at that at that one. Um, but this one, I will, would arrive at a much lower state of charge, meaning I would charge much, much faster. So I'm only about a mile from my next stop. So I'm going to go to that stop first, and then I will decide probably, um, what I'm going to do. Um, but let's go ahead and put this one in as a stop. And, um... We need to edit this trip because I don't want to go there before my next stop. So let's do that and see 
what it says our state of charge will be. Yeah, so see, our state of charge would be 13% at that charger, which would be really, really good. can charge really, really quickly there. And you can see now it's got me at 6% state of charge getting home, which means I would not want to charge at all at that point. Um, so probably what I'm going to do is remove um, the superchargers. And then after I get done with my next stop, I'll determine what I'm going to do then. I'll keep you posted. All right, so I turned on the car's chargers to add chargers to my trip. And the car evidently no longer thinks I need to charge to complete my trip. So we are going to trust the car. And I'm going to continue on the trip and see how it goes. So I'm now leaving my last destination, heading home. And it says that I will arrive home with 6% battery. So we did, we did well. So I have arrived home. And I arrived home with 5%. I'm all plugged up now. And if you didn't notice, you can see I actually use a 110 volt outlet at home. And it seems to work fine for me. I've been charging this way for about a year and a half now. And the only time I use superchargers is when I'm on a long trip. And I may have used them... 10 times or less in a year and a half. Um, so it really depends on how much you drive as to whether a regular outlet will work for you. It works fine for me. Uh, by in the morning when I go to the office, I'll probably have around 30%. And um, that will be sufficient for me. I'll get home with probably about 20 and then the next day I'll have about 45 or 50. I normally charge about 60% is my charge limit, as you can see right there. It's normally where I charge to, and it typically works fine for me. On days I know that I'm going to need extra charge, I will bump it up to 80 or 85%. And um, again, never had much of a problem. All right, so it's a new day the next morning, and I forgot to video because I didn't really have time this morning when I left, but I wanted to show you everybody um, exactly what happened when I woke up. So I have 26% now, but um, I've driven into town. I started with 29%. So I showed you all I had 5%, I believe it was, when I um, got to the house last night and charged all night long and it got up to 29%, so just shy of 30%. And it is showing that um, as of right now, I should get home with 18% battery when I return this evening. And then it'll charge all night, and I'll have probably 40% or better um, tomorrow morning when I get up. And um, I'll, if I remember, I'll show you guys that. All right, just to keep you all posted, um, it's the next morning. And um, I just want to show you that it charged all night long again on a regular wall charger outlet and I am up to 41% from I think 19% last night or something like that I can't even remember actually um, but it's on the video you all would know it more than I would <laughs> um, but yeah so it, it appears that this would be more than enough percentage for most people to drive to work and back um, and probably still have quite a bit left over so what I have found is that the car will charge about 10% every six hours. So if you're at home for 12 hours, you're going to get about 20% charge before you have to take off again. I don't drive that that often, so um, I have found that the regular wall outlet works, works perfectly for me. And um, so I just kind of wanted to share my experiences with you about that.